Good morning guys, good morning and welcome to another vlog in Ling Ling Life. Today we are in Hangzhou and I'm staying over at my blogger friend's house. Um, speaking of China, you should check Jocelyn out, it's a really really good website. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm in their kitchen here, I just put on my chi pao because I want to go to pretty places and take some pictures. But I'm going to have some breakfast first. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting because she has these, uh, she's a foodie, so she has these interesting choices. Uh, like, there we go. This is like sesame powder, I think. And then I'm going to put it into hot water. And then I'm going to have an apple and hot water. Because it's icy cold here, remember I'm in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, so there is no heating inside. So basically it's 5 to 10 degrees outside in the winter and it's the same temperature inside. Like it's icy here. I wear all these clothes, I thought I should take a shower, but I don't want to because it's so cold. <laughs> I'm also eating this funny thing. I really, really like it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Matcha, it's called matcha mochi. Matcha mochi? Uh, I think it is uh, green tea, maybe? Green tea cake? Okay, then we have the hot water there, and I'm just gonna make my dough here with the sesame powder and some hot water. And we got the apple there. Wow, if I uh, didn't know that it was sesame powder, uh, I probably wouldn't eat this thing. <laughs> I'm excited to try anyways. I remember I liked it before. So, we'll see if it's the same now. Just watching some Chinese TV while I eat my sesame, my apple, my hot water, and yeah, getting ready for the day. Just uh, finished breakfast with my friends and now we're going to the city center and then we're changing the bus and then we're going to the mountain area and then we're gonna go and see a temple. Are you ready? Because I know that I am. So, let's go! So, I don't know why, but I totally forgot about the tourist madness of Chinese New Year. And I could feel it when I got into the bus. And the closer we got to the temple up here in the hills, I was like, oh my god, there are so many people. This is just a small amount. Uh, I'm actually surprised that I'm walking here without anyone pushing me. Um, but yeah, basically I decided that I'm not going to stand in a forever line just to get in to see a temple. So sorry for that guys. We're just going to walk down the hill uh, alone. I can't manage the bus either. Uh, so I'm just going to walk down the hill and try to avoid the tourist groups because there are too many. You can see they're here, they're there, everywhere. I was going crazy for the bus because, oh my god, what if I don't get a seat? If I didn't scare you away and you're still really eager or have no other choice than being a tourist in China during Chinese holidays, my best suggestion is bring music. I just walk around and sing and I don't hear all the masses screaming and yelling. It's really, really a pressure. So I just uh, found a beautiful flower. You can see it here in the back. Uh, just standing here in the middle of nowhere and taking some cute photos mm. <laughs> and um, yeah there are no people here and it's amazing and I love it you know the small things in life so here we go here are the tea fields here in Hangzhou Okay guys, I'm done dancing around like a little bird here, a little princess in the tea fields of Hangzhou. <laughs> I am super hungry right now and I'm in the middle of nowhere, so I'm gonna go to the nearest uh, bus stop and see if I can find a bus. Um, and then go down to the Xihu, the West Lake, again the center of Hangzhou and see if we can find something to eat. Yay! <laughs> we, I mean me and you guys. <laughs> 
So let's go, because Ling Ling can't feel her fingers anymore. Ah, so cold. Yeah, I didn't tell you guys that, but like in my friend's house, <laughs> there is no heating. So it's literally like five, 10 degrees, both inside and outside. And uh, that's cold. So yeah, I was very happy that she had an extra, uh, what is it called? Like electric blanket so she could heat up my bed or else I'm not sure if I would have woken up today or if I did wake up I probably would have looked like an ice cube or something like that <laughs> anyways let's go I said I was looking for lunch right this is what I found um maybe not Thank you. 